Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today is normally our thrifting Thursday, but we um, <clears throat> have a hurricane or, you know, well, it will be category one hurricane once it gets to landfall here in Florida. So um, I did not go thrifting. And the only thing that I did get this week was this bag of 1,000 or 10,000 eyelets for $5. Okay, can you see that? 10,000 eyelets for five bucks. So this is what the only thing that I have this week that I thrifted. So imagine playing around with this forever. This will outlast me in every junk journal or ephemera that I make. So yeah, I picked it up. I saw it, loved it, grabbed it. All right, so this is all I've got this week for Thrifting Thursday, but what I did um, start doing was I started making my Christmas presents and Christmas um, um, items for sale and uh, these are my notebooks that I started making they're little tiny notebooks well not tiny but they're nine by six notebooks I know that because I took an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock to make the cover folded it rounded the corners inked everything put it together and this is what we've got so this is what it looks like it's just a little mini faux collage on the on the cover um, with some old newspaper from that 1963 San Angelo newspaper that I picked up from the thrift store and I just added some more embellishments on the front I tied it up with some um, sisal rope or twine and uh, you can put a little embellishment or a little charm or something um, on the little bow that I put right here but yeah it's not really necessary it's very very vintagey very old looking and I, I love it I love it so much I want one myself but in here I have quite a number of um, pages in here all right so yeah there's there's eight pages in here there's four kinds of paper I use three different types of resume paper and then one sheet of um, copy weight like regular copy paper that you would run through a printer or whatever and I did that twice so there's eight sheets of paper in here um, doubled up so that's 16 doubled again that's 32 so there's 32 different writing spaces in this uh, little tiny um, I say tiny because it's a single spine book and I just stapled the spine um, together so the pages are just stapled into the book they're not stitched in or anything so let's just make one of these because I don't have any thrifting Thursday today I'm sorry guys there's a hurricane coming <laughs> all right so here are that's my prototype this is just a little prototype right here and um, I've already like prepped a bunch of this so here's a blank one that I've started um, it's gonna pretty much look the same if the assembly is pretty much the same thing it's really simple to do just cut your paper uh, here I'll grab a let's just grab let's just grab a different color you just take an eight and a half by eleven sheet of cardstock fold it in half right and then and it's pouring rain outside right now just in case you guys wondered what's that all about but yeah it's raining outside so you fold it in half I'm gonna use my bone folder and this is just for demonstration purposes I may or may not use this one to make one um, but the season is coming upon us where you know mass making gifts is a really the way to go so yeah you just go ahead and round your corners and just like that you have yourself a little book cover what you do to it after that it's totally up to you I'm using Christmas cardstock so I have some of this double-sided paper uh, this is from simple stories it's in their simple vintage rustic Christmas collection so it's double-sided paper and um, yeah I just been pulling from that I also have a couple of I have a, a couple of paper packs so this is paper studio I picked up at uh, I want to say Hobby Lobby 
and it was on sale for like $5.99 or $6.99 a full 12 by 12 paper pack with lots of vintage paper in here to use and I've been using this throughout the year making different things in preparation for the holidays and just making things in general because there's lots of pretty paper in here that's not really Christmassy um, yeah there are some that are completely Christmassy but then there's this you know so yeah I've just been using what I've got on hand throughout the year and um, that's where I pulled a lot of my paper from for this project so this right here is from the simple stories collection and this is just some old newspaper once again that I rounded the corner on so I'm just gonna glue that down let me empty it out also I made I made these cute little pockets so these are just some angled corner pockets they're rounded on the corners one will go on the front one will go on the back and then I have um, some additional pocket embellishments to go on the fronts of those pockets so here let me just should I open this one I don't want to open this one. <laughs> I'll open that one later I'll show it to you later anyway let's just go ahead and glue this down I'm gonna start off with my glue mat my dirty little half of a glue mat that I've chopped up in so many ways uh, accidentally and I'm just going to use, let's use some fab, um, some uh, Scotch Create glue stick on here. Let me just make sure that I'm gluing down the right side. Yeah, so this is my rounded corners. And yeah, I'm just gonna add some Scotch Create glue all the way around the edges and all through the, um, the vintage paper, newspaper. And that will be the basis for the cover and yes glue stick is a water-based glue so sometimes you may find that your paper curls on you and that's perfectly fine it will straighten itself out before it dries so to glue this down I usually start here in my lower left corner and work my way up and around making sure that everything is even and where I want it to be And then whatever corners or edges didn't get any glue, I just go in with a little bit of glue stick right there. So that's my basis for this one. I'm going to use this double-sided paper from that Simple Stories cardstock. And I'm just going to layer this directly on top so you're not going to see any of this under here. It's just going to, um, it's just the base. So I'm just going to lay this directly on top and again I'm going to pull out my glue mat and apply glue everywhere on the back of this. So I hope you all are having a crafty day. I hope you guys are safe wherever you are. Um, here in Florida we are batting down the hatches and uh, you know it's not going to be a major hurricane but the winds that we experience from the last hurricane pretty much has everyone up in arms and it's taking hurricane season just a little bit more seriously considering it's mid-november and we're still getting hurricanes so or what is this what what day of the week is it i don't know it's almost mid-november <laughs> But yeah, we should not be getting category anything hurricanes. Like, <laughs> it should not be a thing this late in the year. But uh, it is. So, oh, and by the way, the hurricane name is Nicole. So, you're welcome. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is happening right now as well. So, yeah. I'm making my mark everywhere. And yes, I'm wearing rubber gloves today because I do have um, some uh, designs on my hands that I just didn't think that anybody or everybody would love, would have liked to see. So I'm just covering it up so that it doesn't offend anyone. All right, so here is my inside pocket. It's gonna go like right there. And then this one will go directly on top of it. Uh, sort of um, what do you call it matted but I have this little extra thing right here so this would be a double pocket there will be a pocket in the front and then a big pocket in the back alright uh, the way to do that is just with 
art glitter. So I'm just going to art glitter glue around the edges right here, up the sides. And I'm going to mat it right here on the corner of this pocket. So again, I start down here in my lower left corner and work my way around till it, I get it as even as I think it can be. So yeah, there's just a little couple of tuck spots really because this, I didn't glue it on three sides. I'm only gluing it on two. So again, I'm going to do the same thing for this larger pocket. Okay, that's as straight as it gets and I'm going to pop this down right here again in the lower left corner first and getting the sides nice and even. Alright guys, that's down. Let's do the other side. The same process applies. I'm just gonna, again, I'm just going to use a little bit of art glitter. Can y'all believe it? I got a bag of 10,000. I don't even know who sat there and counted it. I think it's just an estimation. But a bag of 10,000 eyelets will really go a long, long way in my craft room. So thank you to whomever dropped that off and uh, didn't have a need for it anymore. Because, and then to remember, I think it was yesterday I did that book. I wish I had those eyelets then because I did that book and really wanted those eyelets to go all the way through both the fabric and the chipboard um, to make that spine pop and um, what a crooked line that is um, yeah so but I really wish I had some longer eyelets didn't have any in my stash so when I saw those I had no choice but to pick them up and um, yeah that's just a great great find you just never know what you're gonna find when you're out and about so yeah okay that's down and we'll live right there forever and ever so yeah now I have two little tuck spaces one right there and one back there on the cover of this book and this right here is already like pre collaged so I'm just gonna leave it just like that and there's nothing left to do to it besides I paper on the inside so again I took all of these pages right here I'm just gonna grab this stack right here out of that book one two three so these are my three resume papers and then one sheet of um, copy weight and then one two three resume papers and then one copy weight so again 32 uh, different spaces to write on inside of these little journal notebook Christmas notebooks whatever you want to call them I'm just looking for my ruler let me close up my glue and um, yeah I'm going to use my metal ruler and my craft knife do the old book chop right there get these pages nice and even and I am going to just cut away the excess off the edge of the um, the signature so yeah these are still called signatures even though there's only one <laughs> Sorry guys. So yeah, these are, this is just a one signature notebook and I am going to cut this off the edge right here and then these pages will fit perfectly inside the notebook. A couple more passes and we should be good. Okay. So here we go. Here's this and this. And if you want to ink, now would be the time to. I also need to round the corners on all of these so that they fit into the book. I don't know if all eight pages they didn't the last time. So I'll do four at a time uh, in my corner rounder. Gosh, you would think four at a time. That's it. That's just four. Uh, yeah, so this is just my old
silicone around her. Uh, well, actually, this is one of my newer ones, Beer Boss. But it seems like the the, the uh, blade is getting a little dull. If anyone knows how to sharpen the blades to these things, or is it just such an inexpensive item that you get rid of it and buy a new one, um, just let me know down in the comments. If you know a way to sharpen the blade, or if you just chuck yours when it's dull, I would love to know the secret to um, to these things. Again, I did not want to spend the $24 or what have you for the, um, I think it's Crocodile. We are memory keepers. I don't know. Um, that makes the big chomper one. But yeah, I think every time I've seen it, they were about $20 to, 20 to $24. And I just, I don't know. I think I can get away with just using these little guys and um, not spend the money on that particular item. Okay, so now I'm going to put it back together. And it's going to go just like that. And this is going to go right in here, just like so. If you find that your pages poke out at the top, mine slightly pokes out at the top. I am, I am okay with where they fall um, at the top of the book. But um, the goal is to get it really securely way back in the center of the spine of the cover um, so that these pages on the edges here does not stick out at all. So with that said, I would then grab my stapler, line this up nice and even, grab my little mini stapler and uh, staple three, three staples down the center here and we're done. That's pretty much all it is. The only difference in this one is that I stamped on the back here, Handmade with Love, and put my little label, Chronicles of a Crafter, down here at the bottom, which I basically just printed off some labels on my on my computer, from you know, through my printer, and then I ran it through this Xyron sticker maker, and now I have quite a bit of labels to go on to any project that I may that I may make or um, is selling. So yeah, I can then put my own little Chronicles of a Crafter label on there. So that's gonna work out really well. Let me grab my stapler and piece of foam to go underneath it to protect my craft mat. And all right guys, so I've uh, just used some giant paper clips to hold all my pages together. And I have my little tiny, <laughs> My little tiny stapler again did not want to buy the we are memory keepers single staple punch or whatever it's called and I'm just gonna randomly pop three staples in here um, just one in the bottom one in the middle and then one at the end up here all through my little piece of foam and I flip it over they're all pretty central I love where they landed and I'm just going to use my bone folder to close up these staples. And um, yeah, this project is done. And again, this one is done because I didn't want to add any additional embellishments to the front because it's already pretty embellished. Only thing left to do is grab a little bit of twine. This is my giant roll of sisal twine. And um, I just cut a hefty dose of it and um, wrap it around a few times. So here's how I wrap mine. I pull this front one this way. Well, first let me just show you what we have. What we have. We've got our double tuck spots in the front, double tuck spots in the back. I've already pre-inked the pockets, so there was no inking involved. If you want to ink around the edges, now would be the time to do it, or at least before you staple your pages in. Um, I can still ink around the edges, and I probably will in a moment, but this is how I wrap mine. I take my twine, hold a good about five inches, uh, five or six inches here in the front, and just start wrapping around in random spots until I get it back to the front. I tuck both underneath the entire thing, one going one way, 
the other going the other way if I can get it to do it with these gloves on and, um, and then I just tie it in a bow and wherever there's too much of one or the other you can just cut it there we go and that's how I did it okay so I'm gonna make another one really quickly this one is going to be a little bit more involved. I probably won't get to the signature part, but this I pre-layered um, la already with the uh, newspaper and then this pretty paper. And then I want to put, um, I want to put a little, oh, what is this? Oh, let's do this one. I'm just going to put a little, nope, that's too busy. There we go. Merry Christmas and um, some music paper. Okay, so this is how I got this one to uh, fit on here. I basically layered everything the way I wanted it to be. Uh, I think I'm going to go this way on this one. Yep, because I'm going to put my people down here. So I layered it how I wanted it. Took my pencil, marked where it's going to um, be matted the matte section of it. So actually it's way back here. All right, so I'm just marking where I want the matte um, part to go. And then I cut it with my guillotine. So um, first I'm going to round the corner on Nope, I'm not going to round any of the corners. I'm just going to glue this down. So, here in the center, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue to keep this top piece in place while I take it over to my guillotine. Uh, right there. Okay, and I have all my little pencil marks everywhere. So I have this one over here. These two over here, that one and that one. I've got this one. I think I want it here and back here. Okay, so yeah, let me just go to my guillotine. And it's okay if you cut it short, you can always go back and cut it again. So, this is my little um, way of doing a quick collage on the front cover of the book. So again, it's just a matter of layering the paper however you want to see it on the cover. And um, yeah, just playing around with it until you get it to where you want it. That's all it is, pretty much. Okay, so that's going to go just like that. I'm going to grab some um, art glitter and just glue the entire thing so all the way around i don't know if you guys like the sound of this listen to this guys wait there was someone that made like some of the most craziest sounds just by gluing paper i was like what is that noise but it was just it was so interesting the noises that was coming from just gluing paper or I think it was Natasha from uh, Treasure Books when she cut her paper it sounded like like a xylophone when she glued her paper down it sounded like you know this airy sound I was like wow that's so interesting so um, yeah if you want to hear some interesting sounds coming from paper cutting um, and gluing and but just go to Natasha's channel from channels called Treasure Books, and uh, yeah, you'll hear some pretty cool things. Not to mention, she's uh, I think she's Australian, so she has an awesome accent as well, or New Zealand, but she has an awesome accent, and that just makes it even better to listen to. <laughs> okay, so here I'm going to place my little family. Um, let's see, let me put this mom and kid they look so cute place them right here I'm gonna use some double-sided tape uh, some puffy tape 
which I don't normally use in my projects, but this right here calls for it to have them raised up a little. So I'm just going to place some tape behind her and cut off the excess. And then I will place another little piece behind her head. And I will double all of that up so it sits up a little bit higher than normal. gonna use my little pokey tool to remove the tape on this bottom piece add my second layer use the pokey tool again to remove the tape off the second piece and I'm gonna cut one more little piece for her head And I'm just going to use my pokey tool to remove that back piece of tape, add the second layer of tape, and then remove that second piece of tape. This is the wonkiest tape job I've ever done. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So I'm going to call her the mom, and I'm going to place her right about here leaving plenty of room for the little girl. She's gonna go right there. And if you notice on this one, I have like a little boy and his dog down here in the bottom, again, raised with double puffy tape. So for the little girl, I'm just gonna do a single puffy tape, just placing her slightly behind the mom and yeah, that's going to work out really well. So, come on. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now the only thing left to do is to glue in my pre-adhered um, pockets. I've already inked these. I went in a little heavy on the ink on both of these but I like it so I'm just gonna use Fabrifix um Fabrifix art glitter in my really tiny piping bottle and create these two tuck spots. Do you hear that? Like it sounds like an airplane. I mean <laughs> the craziest things happens in the craft room. So okay that's going to go right there. I hope you guys can see that. I hope I'm in frame. All right. And this one as well. Okay. All right, guys. I think this one is also done. I just have to staple in my signatures, making sure my pockets are nice and straight, or straight-ish, and here we go, here's another one. And yeah, I'm mass making these, because again, they're probably going to go um, on sale at the craft show. So here are, here are all my pages that I have. Um, pulled for uh, these signatures. So I have one, um, this is a resume sheet. There's a creamy resume sheet and a textured resume sheet and then a plain copy weight paper. And then I do the same thing again. A plain resume paper, a creamy resume paper, a textured resume paper, and then a um, regular copy weight paper. 
Then I tuck all of that into each other. Give it the old whack-a-mole with the scissors. Get it to where it's gonna live forever and ever. And then I just use my scissor, I mean my ruler, not scissor. Then I use my ruler and my uh, craft knife and I cut off about that much off the edge. Not a whole lot, just about that much. And then that fits perfectly inside of here. Then I just round my corners, ink if you want to, but then I take my staple, my little stapler, mini stapler, and pop three staples in there. And then this is also another done book with some twine wrapped around it. All right, guys, I am going to leave you here. I hope you guys have a super crafty day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share these videos with your friends and family, hit the bell for notifications so you know every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, guys, to stay naturally curious. Stay safe if you're in Florida and facing the hurricane. And have a crafty day, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.